Hi, I'm Dave Wright with Dave's Bees. Today, we're going to utilize this Japanese knotweed as a habitat for solitary bees. We simply cut these canes into small sections and make them available for the bees in the spring. To cut my canes, I'm using a simple pair of pruning shears, but a hacksaw will work great as well. Okay, I think I have enough canes. I'm going to take these back and we'll make them into the smaller sections. I like using a little pruner. This seems to work well for me. You may have to go a little bit in a circle to make a nice clean cut. Now we've cut up about five canes and we're going to go through and find the ones that we want to use for our mason bees and eliminate the ones that are too big. The best way to check is with a pencil. You want it to be close to the size of the pencil. That one's really good. It's just what we're after. If the pencil won't quite go in, that's a good size as well. So we're going to take the good ones and set those aside. There's another good one. The bigger ones like this, with a lot of slop, these are way too big. So we'll set those off to the side. You start to get a feel for the ones that are about the right size. About the size of a pencil, won't quite go in. That's a good one. Way too big, you can tell by looking. It's all kinds of slop. So we don't want to use that. Now these can be used by taking up some of the extra space by rolling parchment paper on the pencil and pushing it into the back, holding the paper and pulling the pencil out. Then you can trim the end of the parchment paper off and you got the same size tube as the pencil, just like you do with the smaller ones that we're keeping. But we wanna to try to keep this simple and just use the ones that are about the right size. And you're starting to see that the ones that work are all basically pretty much they're all pretty much the same size. You may want to throw in one that's a little large now and then because sometimes you'll get a larger bee. These are the ones we want to keep. The only thing we're concerned with is that we have all the openings facing out. So I pretty much stacked them correctly. There's one that's backwards. Just make sure you got the open end facing all the same direction. So we'll stand them up in our duct tape spool, cluster them together, and you'll see they have different lengths. That's okay, don't worry. Different lengths and sizes. We'll take our duct tape. I don't want to cover any holes. 
I'll keep it down here low. And there we go. We're just wrapping this duct tape around. There we go. Now pull this out. We're going to use some more duct tape. Now I'm going to use some extra duct tape. All I want to do is hold this bundle together nice and tight. So this one I'm wrapping tighter. I want this to remain one nice tidy bundle of tubes. Now what we can do with this, now that we have our wrapped bundle, all it's your only goal now is to hang this up so that it's horizontal so that the bees can go in and utilize these tubes. So one way to do that, other than putting this in a can or, or on a shelf with a little board on it or something to hold it in place. You don't want it to swing around in the wind or blow around. You want it to stay where you put it. One way to do that is make a little duct tape holding strap. You just put your duct tape on and bring it together. There's one. We can put one on the back. If you had this was a shelf, for example, you could have this hanging off the face of the shelf by simply tacking that in place and it'd be hanging off the shelf. If this were a wall, you could have it where you just pin these to the wall and you're still held firmly in place. Then at the end of the season, you can just take this down and store it in a cool place until the following season. This is only good for one season. You're going to store the bundle in a cool, unheated place over the winter, but you'll have to make a little release box for these in the spring. You do not want the mason bees to take up residence a second year in this in these tubes. So this is how you can make a mason bee habitat at home for only the cost of a little duct tape. Good luck and have fun.